All right, so today we'll be testing the RX 580 in a Fortnite. So we are pairing the GPU with the 12400F Intel CPU, which is a six core 12 thread uh, CPU. Then we have 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz, CL16 memory. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this is on the latest update of Fortnite, which introduced uh, Unreal Engine 5.1, which in turn introduced uh, Lumen and uh, Nanite. So Lumen is just uh, software ray tracing, basically, and Nanite is just a fancy way of rendering terrain detail. But uh, for now, we'll be playing at uh, 1080p on DirectX 12. We don't have a frame rate limit, and we will be playing on the low preset. Please note that we have uh, TSR enabled for anti-aliasing, but we are rendering at uh, native resolution. You can see there that it's 100% 3D resolution and the rest of the settings are set as per the preset. So we'll be testing at uh, 1080p, 1440p and 4K and we'll also be testing Lumen and Nanite. As per usual, we'll be dropping in the frenzy fields. Uh, that's where I do most of my benchmark runs and uh, hopefully we can stay alive long enough to actually complete a benchmark run. This will be my third attempt and uh, I'm just not uh, that good to be able to outlast uh, most of the players to successfully complete a full benchmark run. All right, but uh, we've got uh, in the top left hand corner there, we've got our GPU and uh, CPU performance metrics. And then if we press this button, we've got access to the frame rate average, the 1% low and the 0.1% lows as well. Just below that, you'll see the frame time graph and that would indicate if there's any stutters going on. Right, uh, this seems to be a pretty busy area at the moment. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure whether we'll be able to complete a full benchmark run, but uh, we're going to give it our best shot, no pun intended. Right, as you can see, this is quite a, a busy area and uh, we've already got uh, three kills. Not sure if this is a, a bot lobby or not. I see I actually uh, had a match found in uh, the Middle East because that's where our lowest uh, latency is. I'm playing from South Africa. We don't have any local servers, which is uh, a little bit annoying. Right, so, so far we've got... Uh, about 129 frames per second average which is not bad considering that we've played both inside and out and uh, I'm really not that accurate with the sniper rifle so let's see what we can do with the shotgun here yeah. Right, we managed to find him and uh, eliminate him. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to up the graphical settings a little bit. We'll try at medium, but uh, at 1080p low, we got an average of 127 frames per second. The 1% lows are sitting at 96 and the 0.1% lows are sitting at uh, 39. Now, Fortnite does stutter quite a bit in the beginning. It does get a lot better the more you progress in the game or in the match. So, um, I mean, it's definitely not ideal, but it should improve as we move along. All right, so now we're at uh, 1080p medium, still TSR low at native resolution, and the rest of the settings are as per the medium preset. We're just going to reset the numbers here, and uh, immediately you can see that we dropped uh, quite a few frames. Um, we went from about 120 to 80. We can see that the shadows are definitely a lot more improved and the foliage as well. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this person. I mean, the latency definitely does not count in my favor, but I'm not going to be using that as an excuse. Right, so um, yeah, you can see we're getting about 80 frames per second outside at uh, 1080p medium. I mean, it's definitely still doable. I'm playing this on a 144 hertz panel. It's a variable refresh rate panel, so it's definitely doing okay. The input latency, it's fine. You do notice it a little bit, so the difference between 120 and 80 frames per second. So I would say it's uh, it's not as good as it can be. And also, I would not really play this game at medium settings. I mean, it makes it a little bit more difficult to spot players in the shadows and the foliage. So we usually play with uh, 
a lot lower quality settings. I just said we. I'm not a competitive uh, Fortnite player, so I don't uh, include myself in that group. I play for fun. It is quite an entertaining game, and uh, it's a lot less uh, stressful than uh, Modern Warfare to me. Anyway, it's a lot less uh, sweaty. And this I play after a few uh, sessions of Modern Warfare or Warzone just to relax a little bit. It's quite a lot of shooting going on here. Just not exactly sure from where. I mean, my map does show me, but my map is not as accurate. Right, so it's down here. Um, we still might be able to get some something, yeah? I mean, this is just uh, horrific shooting from me. There we go. I think I helped him out. There's another player there. So I don't uh, actually build in Fortnite. I played the build mode, but uh, I don't build build mode is a little bit more uh, competitive but uh, i just uh, really struggle to to build as quick as these players all right so so far we've got uh, seven kills with this rx5 82 of them came from running at about uh, 85 frames per second uh, which means it probably did not impact our performance that much but then again as i said we're probably in a bot lobby so we probably can't use that as any indication of uh, my skill all right, so coming over this hill, yeah, we do drop below uh, 80 frames per second for the first time. Actually, looking out over this uh, village here, we are getting 70 frames per second. You do want uh, constant uh, FPS when you are playing an online competitive uh, shooter, and uh, drops like that uh, might cost you. All right, so I'm just going to hide in this uh, bush here. It's in the safe zone, and uh, now we'll try the high preset. All right, so for some reason, I can't select between high and uh, epic. It goes from medium to custom. Not entirely sure what uh, that's about. Maybe some of the settings can't be changed uh, in game. Well, let's just uh, put everything on epic then. All right, so now we're on the custom preset, everything pretty much still the same when it comes to the anti-aliasing and the render resolution we've got shadows on epic ambient occlusion is on we've got screen space reflections and the rest of the settings are set to epic right and uh, our frame rate pretty much uh, halved we are getting 40 frames per second here um, definitely not what you want uh, even the variable refresh rate high refresh rate uh, panel is not going to help me uh, the game just feels uh, very sluggish and the input latency is uh, terrible so i guess we're not going to be testing too much on the epic preset well it's not the epic preset because we could not select that but uh, everything on epic just does not seem to be the way to go if you've got an rx580 gpu i'm just going to hide here in uh, this guy's fort and uh, well, let's up it to 1440p, but we'll use the low preset again. All right, we're now at uh, 1440p on the low preset. So let's see how it goes. Just going to reset the numbers here. So you can see that uh, we're getting pretty much the same frames per second as what we had on uh, 1080p uh, medium. So it's, uh, it's not bad. I mean, this RX 580 is quite an old uh, GPU. Fortnite is quite old as well. The new update is not that old, uh, seeing that it's running Unreal Engine 5.1. But, um, I mean, this is, it's playable. If you have a 1440p monitor and have to play on 1440p, then you definitely can. I mean, we are getting above uh, 60 frames per second at uh, all times. It's not a competitive frame rate. So just uh, don't expect uh, too many miracles, but definitely still playable. All right, so apparently there are only six players left in this game. We did not manage to complete a full benchmark run. Um, maybe just because I was taking my sweet time. I actually thought that we would uh, die long before coming to this stage anyway. But um, it seems like we are doing quite okay. Not sure if somebody was shooting at me there. We've got another player here. They are definitely shooting at us. Right, here they come, whatever they might be, let's just reload. 
think they've got that Excalibur sword thingy. Right, um, this ice is quite slippery. Um, okay, so there are now five uh, players remaining. Not, uh, I'm not counting on us uh, winning this, but uh, before the game is over, let's uh, try the 1440p medium preset. All right, this is now at 1440p medium, and we are not really managing a uh, constant 60 frames per second experience here. Uh, it's definitely not uh, terrible, but uh, I would not uh, advise to play on uh, these settings with an RX 580 for obvious reasons, but um, it's not, it's definitely usable, but for a game like Fortnite, you would obviously prefer higher frame rates. Not sure if I can actually kill this guy in his car, and uh, we placed it. All right, so um, there we've got the 1440p medium results, right? I'm just going to spectate this guy. We've got uh, an average of uh, 56 frames per second with a 1% low of 47 and then a 0.1% low of 22. It does uh, go up and down a little bit. The benchmark run was a little bit shorter for the 1440p medium, but that's pretty much what you can expect from this RX 580. Right, I don't think we'll be testing at uh, 1440p Epic or 4K just purely because we couldn't get uh, 60 frames per second average with 1440p medium. So we've gone back down to 1080p. We are on the low preset, but now we are going to enable uh, Nanite and uh, we are also going to enable Lumen. So I previously said that uh, Nanite is for terrain detail. I meant uh, geometry detail, but hey, same thing. All right, so we'll do uh, virtual shadows on medium, global illumination on Lumen high. That's the first Lumen setting that you get. Reflections on Lumen high as well and uh, that's pretty much it all right so i figured out why i could not uh, adjust the preset to epic or high in game previously it's because uh, epic and high actually turn on lumen and uh, nanite uh, technologies and uh, that can only be enabled in the main menu not during the game so that's why we could not previously s uh, select the high or epic presets right so I'm not going to save the settings there. We are still on our custom low preset with the Nanite and uh, Lumen enabled. Right, once again, we're going to jump into the Frenzy Fields here just to keep our benchmark a little bit more consistent. I know it's a battle royale. It's very difficult to benchmark very consistently, but at least this gives us a general idea. Right, and uh, we've got our frame rate counter up there, and uh, you can see that we've got about uh, 30 frames per second with uh yeah quite a lot of uh stuttering going on that's the stuttering is terrible it's not uh, this system that's got the issue i've tested it on a higher end system a 12 uh, 700k with an rx uh, 3080 and even the the stutters are immense very annoying but then again i view this as a playable technical demo right i'm just going to try and ignore these uh, players so that we can get a benchmark run um but you can see that we are in the 40s outside uh, definitely not ideal the lighting is definitely a lot more accurate a lot more detailed it's not just one big blob of uh, shadows but you can see that uh, it's definitely not ideal playing with these settings because you would not see anybody hiding in this corner over here right so as you move into the building then uh, your eyes adjust and you can see a little bit better in the dark so these are definitely not settings that uh, competitive players would use. It's just uh, nice to have to see what the game engine actually can do. All right, but you can see that our frame rate 1% and 0.1% lows are terrible. Uh, that would uh, actually cost you the game if it had to happen during a gunfight. Anyway, um, you can see that the stuttering still continues. Just look at the frame time graph there. Now you have to remember that uh, Lumen is uh, software ray tracing. Not sure if you guys remember, but uh, back in the day, Battlefield 1, I think Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 5, 
uh, you actually had the option to enable ray tracing on GTX 10 series cards and uh, the frame rate actually dropped from 100 frames per second to about 30 on a 1080 Ti and uh, that's pretty much the same as what we are seeing here we are getting about a, a third between a third and a quarter of our original uh, frame rate we had 120 frames per second with these settings without uh, hardware or software ray tracing not sure if i'll be able to kill a person maybe it's just safer to run away i mean that guy knows how to build i uh, sure as hell don't i don't think he saw me there or he did all right um Okay, so you can still get a kill at uh, 30 frames per second. I mean, who knew? All right, so now our final test would be uh, 1440p. Let's see if we can uh, get an average of uh, 30 at least. All right, before I die, well, there I died. I literally died as I changed the settings. But we'll just uh, spectate this person. This is now at uh, 1440p with Lumen and Nanite enabled and you can see that we are not getting uh, our 30 frames per second. Not that uh, 30 frames per second should be your aim for a competitive online uh, shooter, but this just shows you how intensive uh, software ray tracing actually can be. Alright, so I think that's where we're going to leave it for this video. So my advice would be if you've got an RX 580 GPU, then your best option would be to play at uh, 1080p on the low preset or competitive uh, settings, which you can find online. The game is definitely still playable at uh, 1440p, but uh, that's going to be pushing it a little bit. But one setting that you definitely should not enable is Nanite and Lumen. As can be seen here, the drop in performance is just not worth the visual quality and as i said earlier competitive players usually play with uh, custom uh, settings they don't have these enhanced uh, shadows and lighting they like to be able to see their opponents and with this it just makes it a lot more difficult it looks nice but uh, i don't think it is uh, worth it in a competitive online shooter all right uh, thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always we hope to see you in the next one